Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're currently in the channel country of Central Australia and we're out here to look for a species in particular that most people would know, the inland type ant, known as the world's most venomous snake. While inland taipans may be classed as the most venomous snake in the world, they actually account for absolutely zero fatalities in humans. This is mostly because of their rare encounters with humans due to their isolated distribution. Their main location in southwestern Queensland and northeastern South Australia is associated with the Diamantina River and Cooper Creek drainage systems, but they also have an isolated population near Cooper Pedy. This is one of the harshest environments in the country, if not the world. You can see there's just nothing that's around. There's no shade, there's no trees, there's hardly any habitat. It's, it's amazing that any species can actually survive out here. But the trick to their survival is in the soil toilet. Now this, this soil is called black soil and is highly reactive to moisture. It is in during times of dry, it will contract, and during times of wet, it will expand. And in doing so, it forms these cracks in the soil. And now these cracks can go down meters deep and form a whole labyrinth of tunnels and systems that species are able to then survive. They're able to shoot down these, down into the shade, into the coolness of the soil underneath. And this is where, this is the trick to most of these species survival. With this information in mind, it's no wonder that people rarely encounter the inland taipan. With daytime temperatures exceeding over 40 degrees most days in summer, it's no wonder these snakes spend so much time underground and thus provides us with a very narrow window for finding this snake. So we split off in separate vehicles, trying to cover as much ground as possible while conditions were good. We're just sort of cruising along nice and steady, just trying to pan out as far as we can see over those open plains, trying to look for any sort of silhouette or the shine off a snake out in the distance anywhere. It's a bit hard at the moment, there's a lot of a lot of greenery and shrubs. Hey, there's an illustrator there. <laughs> greenery and shrubs so there's a lot of places where they can sort of be in they can be just there but out of sight which is unfortunate but it's also awesome to see it in such great conditions you know it looks there's so much life out here at the moment it's amazing We spent days in this isolated and remote part of the world, getting up every morning before sunrise before the temperature started to climb, constantly panning over the horizon, just hoping for a glimpse of what we wanted to see. While it wasn't an inland type ant, we were delighted to see these black saw whip snakes basking on the road some early mornings. These snakes share the same habitat as an inland taipan, although they cover a much larger distribution. They're able to coexist with many other black soil snake species, assumably because they mostly feed on things like lizards, rather than the boom and bust rodents, which the larger snakes feed on. Thankfully, these eelless dragons were a lot more tolerant to the heat, often basking in temperatures well over 40 degrees, still in direct sunlight. Whilst walking around an area that looked promising, we managed to come across a couple of recent sloths from large snakes. We spent some time concentrating on this area as it was obvious there was recent snake activity. Here I'm using an endoscope to give you a unique perspective on the world that these snakes spend most of their time.
Another area we concentrated on was an area we saw a lot of rodent activity at night. These long-haired rats are known to be the main food source for the inland taipan. Like most rodent species, these are very much boom and bust depending on conditions, thus providing a very unstable food source for inland taipans, and presumably why inland taipans have such toxic venom, because they just can't afford to lose a meal. Josh and I have visited this location multiple times, but we'd never seen conditions so good and rodent numbers so high. Convinced this was one of the best chances we were going to get to see one of these elusive snakes, we set off for one last morning, beating the heat and focusing on the areas we'd felt looked most promising. And sure enough, Josh is soon greeted by this. Got an inland type in. Yes, Mark. How good. All our hard work and persistence had finally paid off. We'd found ourselves the inland taipan, the world's most venomous snake. and grass and grain for these species to feed on 